Okay, so on this one, basically, here's some of the valves and the guides that we had to replace. Uh, apparently the neurals, there's little like uh, spiral grooves inside this guide here. And if these spiral grooves are worn out, you're gonna get slop in the guides and you're, you're gonna have back and forth play in the shaft, the valve shaft in the guide. And if the neurals are worn out inside the guide, which tends to keep the oil uh, out of the combustion chamber, I believe, but basically the neurals inside the sleeves or the guides, um, they, will, they will guide the oil uh, where the oil is supposed to be. And then this one, you can see it's got, it's, it's fairly loose. If you have back and forth slop, then that would cause a problem. So I got some new guides put in my head because the neurals inside or the spiral uh, grooving that guides the oil in the proper direction was worn out. Although well, the car wasn't burning oil at first, uh, uh, it doesn't seem to be burning oil. This is, this is something you might want to consider doing. And then also, there's what they call a margin here, a flat spot that gives the valve thickness. And so if that flat spot is not to specs, then this valve tends to overheat and then it would probably warp if it were overheated. So we got a few valves. You can see this margin here. There's a little bit of margin on that one, but not much. Apparently it's not up to specs, so uh, we got new, some new valves. And then this one you can see has actually got some pitting on the edges here. Although it's clean, it has a clean seat, the margin here on the top is not thick enough for specifications. And then on top of the rocker arms are the rocker arm adjustment screws. So these rocker arm adjustment screws are what they call a crowned top. So the crown, it's a crown. It's actually a, has a slight roundedness on the top. And that slight roundedness helps the valve be pushed uh, without stress on the valve guys. So when this thing here is pushing on it, then it doesn't hang up, it won't hang up. See, what happens is if that's not round and when it pushes on it, it doesn't have a smooth push and it hangs up on that pitting, then it tends to put pressure on the guide and wear the guide out sooner than later. Now, I was thinking about trying to resurface these, but I uh, didn't simply because I had a local old master work on my head and so he suggested I get new ones. These new ones were like seven bucks a piece. Not too bad compared to some of the other ones I found uh, for other vehicles. <clears throat> and so you know, we replaced the uh, front cam seal. And so, yep. Um, he also polished the cam, uh, the cam bed or whatever, the cam, uh, the cam and the cam bed. Um, Okay, so basically what he said was this thing here is that with the pointer down, that's for, that's uh, with the valves lined up top dead center on this particular Zuzu. This is a, was it 2.3, I believe? And so basically all the, and this guy, the old master, I mean, I guess he's not a master if he doesn't know everything, but uh, he couldn't understand why this pointer was pointing down and then the number one cylinder, uh, or the, the cam and the valves are set for number one top dead center. And so what it looks like to me is the two outer pistons uh, are at top dead center uh, with this timing mark. Uh, the timing mark here lined up and so uh, basically what I've seen is <clears throat> the uh, when they uh, when they put the distributor in 
this is set for number four, so that will be lined up for number four, and they set it to number four, and which is that far one back there, and then this pointer will be up top here at this pointer. So this particular Zuzu, they set at number four. So with the bottom uh, lined up here, and and I've heard some stories about this pulley. This is this is a pickup truck. It may be a different set of pulleys that, than on the Trooper. Uh, and so, but I've heard some of the people with troopers have problems with this pulley, um, not or coming loose, and so they don't rely on this. They rely on the feel uh, from the if you put something down the piston, like a uh, put something down the spark plug, like a pencil or something down there. To, they feel the top uh, of the piston uh, to make sure it's top dead center. So basically, on this one. I'm going to turn this clockwise up to the pointer up here and then make sure that um, the lobes are down in number four. Then I'm going to slide the distributor in and have it line up to four. So supposedly, uh, of course, the this is a spline and it's got spline gear that's going to twist a little bit when you push it in. So, of course, Ideally, what we'd want to have is this pointer, uh, from what I understand, is pointing straight to the nut, basically, on this one. And that's how you line that up. And so, um, and I did use uh, the copper code on the gaskets here, and as well on the head gasket, just for extra measure. I had a slight bit of wear in the center uh, area between the two pistons on the cylinder head but it wasn't it wasn't near the uh, head gasket uh, firing so that wasn't a problem anyway so I'll be putting this thing back together and having lots of fun thanks for watching okay so I had uh, this cut the sleeve I guess I had to cut this because I couldn't get this thing off and I was gonna put the sleeve over but it's got a little bit it's a little bit too too much slop I'm trying to find something that's gonna be a little bit better to, to make that connection work And so I've got the, the pin and the pointer on top here and the bottom crank lined up. I haven't quite tightened up the manifold yet because I wanted to line up that, that EGR tube to put that on. As soon as I get that tightened up, I'll put the distributor in because that distributor and the getting under that manifold is kind of a tricky maneuver. And I had to actually buy some studs. I bought some studs and some nuts because I seem to have lost uh, a couple of my studs and nuts here. So I had to fit them in with some washers. And let's see. The tricky part is going to be getting this, getting that timing lined up. That's going to be the tricky part because I still have to put the spring on. I took that spring off. So that's going to be the tricky part. And then I bought this, I bought this torque wrench. Uh, you know, whatever Pittsburgh Pro. I figured, well, that big, it ought to be something, you know. But it's got this small little end on it. That uh, I mean, supposedly it'll take the torque, but you know, kind of, kind of a small end. Um, so yeah, that's that's the deal. And I actually used an old an old Craftsman torque wrench. This old, this, old, this old craftsman here I bought at the uh, hawk shop, 1495, and then I had to buy that. That's my head, that's the head bolt, uh, nut, whatever, driver. It's a 10, what is it, 10 millimeters? And so anyway, yeah, that's how far I've got so far. And so, yeah, to be continued. Okay, so I got the manifolds tightened up. And this is my distributor set up here. Supposedly, it's going to be set to number four. And it's straight. That's straight lined up with that. The belt was a little tricky getting it on. On this one, what I had to do was I had to, I had to basically um, 
take the spring off, put the spring back on, whatever. Then um, take the belt off. I took the belt off the top and the, the pulley itself, the tension pulley. And then I pushed the pulley, the tension pulley all the way back and then tightened it up. And it still didn't really seem to have very much slack to do anything with it. But I, and I finally kind of f forced it on. I didn't gouge it or anything, but uh, I was able to like roll it and finally get it on there. And luckily for me, um, it all lined up. So, and then this one here, this is the this is the patch that I did. Basically, what I had is I had a sleeve, a piece of metal uh, pipe, and I actually lined it with copper so that it would fill in any gaps. And then I have um, these. I wrapped like a tin around the ends of the um, the can to seal it. I also tried to put as much as that that muffler uh, patch on there as I could. So supposedly that that muffler patch is one of the highest rated temperature patches. And so uh, hopefully that will hold. And I'm going to with this, hopefully. And so that's all for today, folks.